I'm not watching it no more. I'm already know what's this, what's. Uh, I already get the background story. Chat. I'm not watching it no more. It's very sad though, man. Rest in peace to all the young people who died in this. Dad to cook. So, chat. The dude who made the like Freddy and stuff. He was a psycho. We stole the building after several. Wait, bro, calls. what the? Bro, why is he like? Why is this? Why is the FBI open up and they f find to Freddy at it? Like this, n man. And no clue either. Police were scavenging, searching all around the building, in all the rooms of the diner, asking everyone what they knew, trying to piece together anything they could, until they couldn't find the children's bodies anywhere, and they quickly found out no one knew anything. The children who were just having the best party of their lives vanished out of thin air from the diner. William became a major suspect. Bro, he killed Without them, bro. Without any bodies nor proof, they couldn't charge him. This quickly became a missing oh my children's God. incident. Satisfaction, exhilaration. That's what William felt after the murder spree and getting away with it. His mind ran wild with ideas. What if? What if he made suits specifically to contain people? Yo, it's William, nigga. Not weird. Like him and Henry used the animatronic suits, but with enough space to fit humans into them. They couldn't contain adults because they might be too tall, too big. They would be wait, wait, wait. not spring lock suits like him and Henry used. The animatronic suits, but with enough space to fit humans into them. They couldn't contain adults because they might be too tall, too big. There would be way too much individuality between adults. But children? Most of them would be the same height, same size. A little bit bigger wouldn't be too much of a problem since they would still be rather small. William already killed five children and knew exactly how to lure them out. So he knew where to go next. With the goal of capturing children in mind, he made a new animatronic, Circus Baby. A blue-eyed, red hair clown animatronic with an inbuilt scooper to grab, pull, and then trap children inside of itself. William adds that She can dance. She can sing. She's equipped with a built-in helium tank for inflating balloons. Wait, Chad, Trey, Trey, Chad, that's the one of the game I just watched. Sister's location, right? It's right at her fingertips. She can take some she can even dispense ice cream. With the perfect creation and a long talk with Henry, William opened up a small restaurant on the side under his personal business name, Afton Robotics, which would sell the same food and drink as Fred Bears, but with the addition of ice cream. And with this, Circus Baby's Pizza World opens. William programmed Circus Baby so she would not kill or trap in front of crowds, nor with adults, but only in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a child. Bro, and this William nigga knew is that the crazy, animation like, had to contain some sort of artificial- Wrong vid? It's outdated? Oh, it does say 2021. This is outdated. Yo, I am watching the wrong one. I'm bugging. This, yo, Chad, this is the wrong- Yo, Chad, this shit was made last year. Oh, God. Yo, we tweaking. We watching the wrong one. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh shit! Wait, what the fuck? Chat, it's one right here that says twenty twenty. Oh no! Social consciousness. So how would he get that? Oh no! Oh no! William's wife and children would occasionally visit the two locations, admiring William and Henry's work. Animatronic. Oh, it's the right one? This one right here? Right here? Alright, baby. Oh, sorry, my internet. Oh, here we go. Alright, here we go. No, I don't want the game, bruh. I don't want the game series. I want the. See, look, bro. I don't want the game. Yo, I want the, like, the background of it, bro. The, bro, like, the game is, like, no shit Sherlock. I want the background of the organ. Is this the one? I don't know. Nights Freddy's is a game series which has a deep... In this video, subscribe for... It is... A father of three children. I already got this part. I know this part. I know this part. I know this part. This is from I know this two part. mechanical geniuses. Probably the it would have I to be able to drive their this. revenue forever. No this. 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 Children flock be wet. No this. No this. No this. No this. Spring successful in this part. Children's body. Exactly. Cops. But how? Human hand never cost too much for the animals. The suits of the. Not knowing that you're just in all the rooms of the right day. here, we right here, right, right here, what they right here, trying to piece it together anything they could 
until they couldn't find the children's bodies anywhere, and they quickly found out no one knew anything. The chipper came to go all rest of the new time to watch the funny. Right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Wait, now we right here. Lily got a little bit of and schmuck and William in front of crowds. Oh, right here, now we right here, right here, right here. Only in a one on one situation with a child. And William knew that the animatronic had to contain some sort of artificial consciousness. So, how would he get that? William's wife and children would occasionally visit the two locations, admiring William and Henry's work. Animatronics were unique, creative, and unheard of in this day of age. Evan liked to watch William work on the animatronics, and would regularly watch William work on the four animal suits, which Evan actually got early access to plush copies of. Elizabeth Afton, though, she desperately wanted to see Circus Baby every time she visited. It looked like her, and it was the first girly animatronic that had oh. been ever made. With the others being that the first animatronic, family, that means she's legal. That means I can fuck her. Best family diner. William always said no to Elizabeth. He knew deep down that Circus Baby would recognize his daughter as a child and would quite possibly kill her. Elizabeth kept asking, Daddy, why won't you let me play with her? Daddy, you let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? Daddy, just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Wait, Daddy, whoa. She can make balloons. Whoa! Whoa! No, she's a kid animatronic. Whoa! Wait, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'll take that back. Wait. What the fuck? Have you seen her make balloons? Yo, why do you... No, I take that. Happiness, ignorance, and arrogance. Three words which would perfectly describe Elizabeth's actions as she headed towards the animatronic. Circus Baby watched this little girl run with no excitement way. and started to dispense ice cream. A luring tactic. Something she had never done before. No way. Words. No! Like, a moment of realization. Elizabeth died as a direct result of William's. Oh my God! Circus baby's suit. Her screams, covered by the children. His daughter died. Of excitement. William came with his party of children and wondered where his own went. He looked around and remembered Elizabeth's words. Daddy, Damn! But this is a true Elizabeth story Elizabeth too, baby. dog. He coldly stared back. Oh my gosh! This was a giant mistake. William couldn't comprehend this. This wasn't meant to happen. Rest she should have listened. Bro. No, he should have made it happen. No, she shouldn't have been so stubborn. No, yes, no. William couldn't put together a single coherent thought in his mind. Bro, I feel bad feeling, bro. Will, bro, I think William's a good guy, bro. If you think about it, William's a good guy. First of all, he wanted to make something to help the kids out, but you know, things happen to his brain. He got psychological hypothetical. Respir respiratory to mint brain. His mint brain is messed up because his daughter died, bro. So it causes wheel S C A C R disorders, bro. So he's not truly a good guy. William Afton is the one who wanted to make the kids great, but his daughter died, man. Rest in peace, though, bro. A psycho losing a loved one is not going to go well. Exactly, he bro. He shut the restaurant instantly, and for a whole night, he looked into Circus Baby's lit green eyes. If anyone can retell this story in these events the best, it's Circus Baby herself. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Wait. I would always count the children. Wait, I'm wait, wait, sure wait. Why. I was always Chat, I think I know where this is going, y'all. I think I know where this is going, y'all. I think I know where this is going. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although Yo, I'm about to predict this whole story right now, okay? There were four. If I get it right, and, and if I get it right, tell me if I'm right. Then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. Oh my gosh. Times? Why did that happen? William. 
William was why that happened. Rest in peace. All William could think of was his darling daughter, now lost to his own creation. Immediately, he tells Evan and Michael to no longer visit any animatronics that are offline or on, especially not alone. There was no chance he would let another child of his be lost to any one of his creations. William knew Michael was old enough that the animatronics wouldn't kill him, although he still warned him away. But William must have... So William and Michael. So is William Michael, brother? Like, who the fuck is... William is the guy who made it, and Michael, they're both geniuses, right? So, Raised are they just friends? children wrong, as Evan becomes stubborn and decides to go to Fred Bear's no. family diner either way. Obviously, without his father's permission. But no. I know Evan, William knew about this. He's the co-owner of the restaurant Evan was sneaking off to. Of course he would know. So knowing that stubbornness oh, it's his son. and arrogance caused Elizabeth's death, and seeing Evan follow in her footsteps, William crafted a plan that would hopefully stop Evan from visiting the restaurant for good. One midnight, Evan awoke to the sound of someone walking down his bedroom halls. Evan hopped out of bed and ran towards his door. Yo, check this Five Nights at Freddy's! And he saw a nightmarish version of the animatronic. This is Five Nights at Freddy! Evan slammed the door shut, and after hearing more footsteps, he reopened the door and the animatronic was gone. But then he heard rattling coming from his bed. William monitored it's Evan. Five Nights at Freddy 4! location he was yet to open to the public or anyone. He made sound illusions. Four, 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 four. pitch frequency just outside of the normal range four. of the human hearing. This frequency is used to overload the human brain, changing. Wait, the so that's second. why? No way. Y'all remember when you? No, chat. You know when you first start the Final Fantasy Freddy Four game? It's 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 like a little boy. Did he get jump scared by like? Like a oh, oh I get it now. Wants them to see. He I get it now. Create illusions of animatronics that he knew Evan had seen to make sure Evan never went back to Fred Bear's. William knew Evan would think these were nightmares that he could strangely remember, but William made sure all of it actually happens to Evan when he's awake, so he remembers them more quickly to keep the fear level raised. He would make sure the illusions disappear at 6 a.m. each night, a time which Evan would begin to treasure. During the day, Evan would go to Fredbear slightly more scared each time. William's plan was working. Michael, Evan's older brother, unknowingly to oh, himself, so he was made actually him helping scared. William during all of this, continuously scaring Evan with a foxy mask. Oh, okay. William saw this as an okay thing to do and allowed this to happen during the daytime, as it would help Evan be more afraid to yeah, go back to Fredbear. That's right. William encouraged Michael to do this, and he would be monitoring what Michael does through the eyes of a plush Fredbear. But Michael didn't do it for the same reasons as William. He did it because he was a bad brother. Michael organized Evan's birthday oh. party to be at Fred Bear's, and he told all the kids in town about it. After Evan talks to the kids, he goes inside his house to find William and talk to him about it. But Michael gets him first and scares him again with the foxy mask. Michael knew that he could get Evan inside the oh. diner if he really wanted to by just being himself the bad brother. Michael would have to bully Evan inside the diner for his party. So, he gave it a try the next day to make sure he could. And by the end of it, he ended up locking Evan inside the back room of the diner for a few minutes. After letting Evan out to run and cry back home, Michael knew what had to happen the next day for his party. Evan would be more scared than ever to go back after today, and maybe not even Michael could bully him into the diner. So, Michael thought for a long time, and planned his next moves as the night fell. Michael brought three friends along. If Michael himself couldn't bully Evan to the diner, maybe three more bullies just like him could. They did exactly that. They forced Evan into the diner for his party. Evan pleaded to them all, saying he wants to leave, but Michael only suggested Evan got closer to the two Springlock suits. He knew getting Evan face to face with the animatronic would scare Evan the most. So they all picked Evan up from the ground and carried him. Evan was shaking like crazy pleading to them all that he didn't want to go, he didn't want to be there, he didn't want to meet them. But they kept walking closer and closer to Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie until they were right in front of their stage. Michael suggested Evan wants to kiss Fred Bear, so the four of them moved Evan off of their arms and they forced his head and half his body to be inside of Fred Bear's mouth. For Michael, this was the best he could do to scare Evan, have him right inside the thing he feared the most. Evan was crying and shaking like he never had before, and Michael even felt some form of sympathy for him. And they watched it happen, right in front of them, and they laughed. One thing that no one knew besides William and Henry about the Springlock suits which Evan was now trapped inside the mouth of, were that Springlock failures could occur. These would happen when the locks that are holding the endoskeleton in the folded position to allow a human to be in the suit break. This causes the endoskeleton to spring into its usual position, and anyone caught inside the suit when this happens will be impaled and crushed by the parts. 
there are two known reasons spring lock failures can occur. One of these is when the spring locks interact with water and moisture. For this reason, employees must not wear the suit in rooms with too much moisture in the air. The second way these accidents can occur is when an employee fails to correctly wind the spring locks all the way up, causing them to burst on the person inside. William Henry knew about these, and always made sure to handle them correctly to avoid any fatal injuries to other staff and themselves. Evans' rivers of tears poured onto Fredware's spring lock suit, which caused the spring locks to interact with water and moisture, causing Fredbear to spring into its usual position, which intended Fredbear's mouth being shut. So Fredbear's mouth shut with Evans inside of it. He died! Evans' skull and caused fatal damage to his head. Fredbear essentially bit down. Oh on my head. gosh, bro, this is so sad, bro. Oh my god, this is a sad story, bro. I cannot watch this, bro. Two little kids die, bro. And the father basically killed them, bro. This shit is sad, man. Man, it's based on a true story, too, bro. This is sad, bro. This can't be on YouTube, man. Man, I can't believe this, bro. Two little kids die, bro, because the dad killed them, bro. That's not regular, bro. Damn, man, rest in peace, man. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Damn, bro, these two little girls, man. These two young girls died, man. In the span of a second, Michael and his friends watched as blood dripped from the suit. Man. When he heard about what happened and rushed to the diner, it was panic, a mad scramble to save Evan from death. The ambulance, it's police, crazy, dog. To think of, all rushed to the diner, and Evan was sent to hospital immediately. William had no time to blame Michael nor himself. They went to the hospital and watched as Evan was in a coma. Throughout Evan's coma, he had one repeating, seemingly endless nightmare. It was like the nights he had just been going through this past week. He started at his bed. It's and not funny, bro. Y'all sitting here laughing like this is funny, bro. This is not funny, bro. It's the fact y'all really laughing at this, bro. Like, seriously, bro. Y'all need to really grow up, bro. Grow the hell up, bro. Honestly, bro. Grow up, bro. Please grow up. Being hunted by nightmarish animatronics. This was different. Every other usual animatronics would be was something he had never seen before. Something he feared the most. And something he was changed by forever. It was a nightmarish version of Fredbear. After a long day of waiting, William brings in the Fredbear plush he used to monitor Evan. And after resting the plush next to him, William is given the news that Evan will be dead shortly. William holds Evan's hands the same way the Fredbear plush was in his other. Within Evan's coma, the clock rung 6am. He shut his eyes and reopened them to see the plush Fredbear, who was like his closest friend, and the four plush animatronics behind it. In the real world, Michael said his goodbyes first. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sorry. Michael left William to be alone with Evan. William said his final words to Evan, saying, You're broken. We are still your friends. Do you still believe that? I'm still here. I will put you back together. And William cried while holding Evan in the Fredbear plush. Within Evan's coma, he watched the Fredbear plush disappear in front of him and cried for one more time before shutting his eyes. William got up and walked out of the room hearing the sound of Evan's own heartbeat flatline. I'm not watching it no more. I'm already know what's this, what's... Uh, I already get the background story. Chat. I'm not watching it no more. It's very sad though, man. Rest in peace to all the young people who died in this. I already get the backstory though. I'm already knowing how it's gonna go. I'm already knowing how it's gonna go. Chat. I can already predict it, man. And tell me if I'm wrong, man. So the girl who killed uh, his daughter. Let me guess. She she's like she's like she can possess her. She like she possesses the body now and she can move around. The you know the robot that killed her. And for the robot that killed um, Evan, he can possess that body. So what I'm guessing is that the guy and the girl, uh, yeah, the yeah, the son and the daughter die, and they possess the robots, right? 
then then there's no way that William's still gonna live. The like the dad always dies at the end. Like that's at the every movie story. So then a dad dies, and then he um could take over a body. Like he could possess a body. Then the guy who killed Evan, I think his name was Michael. I think they want revenge on him. So they try to kill him. Like they want revenge on him. Blah blah blah. They try to kill him. Then uh, it just creates a madness for the robots. I don't know. Correct or wrong? Wrong or wrong? Correct or wrong, y'all? Correct or wrong? Correct or wrong? Correct or wrong? Oh, I'm wrong? Oh, okay. Alright. Never mind. Never mind. All right, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Despite the name, Harkins are not the leading cause of death of the children mind, of Hurricane Utah. This small remote city surrounded by mountains has an ongoing mystery with a twisted, dark story that's continuing to be unraveled. What really happened at Fred Bears? Where did all those children really go? Most importantly, what's next for Fazbear's Entertainment? Henry Emily thought for days, weeks, months. How can the business possibly come back from this? How can he fix all those issues and bring people in again? There were so many problems with the previous location. To name a few, the Springlock suits failed massively, killing William's child and being an extremely dangerous idea to begin with. A team of hard-working managers, night shift workers, chefs, accountants, executives, and so much more. Co-founder, oh! Team with the profits He's the guy who helped, okay, I get, it. okay I get this it. This new team had their first meeting and discussed what yeah, they were doing Yeah, I got it, okay, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. And together, they eventually decided to move the previous animatronics, such as the work in progress bear, bunny, chicken, and fox, into parts and services, a new room in the new location. The company began working on new toy animatronics, which they decided would be plastic-looking animatronics, which weren't springlock suits, but a normal suit with an endoskeleton inside, with fully functional fingers, wedge-shaped feet, eyelashes, and facial appearances. This is the ugliest Freddy out of all the games. This is the most ugliest one to me. Reminiscent of a ventriloquist doll. Like he just, like he just looks like, like, bro, like, like you could just beat. I don't know. He just like facial a, appearances. Reminiscent like, of he's a like a bitch, doll. bro. They also wanted to include some new, unique, different animatronics to the brand which they eventually created. A smaller, childlike animatronic, which the children could relate to. Unlike the animatronics, this is more human looking. This animatronic held a sign in one hand, saying exactly what was being held in the other. This animatronic was called Balloon Boy. Now only two problems remain. William and security, which Henry vowed to solve on his own, as in his mind, only he could do it right. Upon thinking over several days while his company worked on this new location, which would be a juniors to Fred Bears, he knew William could not be attached to the company anymore. Having a man thought to be the murderer of five children, co-owning the restaurant, no, even being in their team would be the worst look for the children's entertainment company with their specific demographic. Yeah. So Henry would need to sort some sort of security, some sort of way to allow everyone in but keep William out. After several nights of coming up with different ideas, he eventually settled on one, a facial recognition system. If a human's eyes oh. met with the toy animatronics, with the right designing and coding, they would be able to tell whether you are William or Dad, not. this is real foot. Is, bro this is fucking crazy oh my god this is so creepy bro oh my god this is so fucking creepy because this shit really fucking happened like i'm scared to go outside like damn there was no doubts this wouldn't work holy so shit and putting fuck hey, no, no. henry wanted nothing more than the safety of his customers he wouldn't want to lose all those kids and watch all their lives be taken away. And unlike William, this brought a thought to his mind. He thought of his darling daughter Charlotte, or Charlie for sure. And I'm made scared. Sure wait, say it. it. Hold away, hold away. Wait, it's not real? That just in case, just in case the facial recognition failed, his daughter would be safe no matter. Henry loved showing Charlie his work and would love bringing her in the locations. But as soon as the missing children's incident occurred, he was always unsure of bringing her to the locations or even just letting her anywhere near the creations. So he created an animatronic that sat in a box. They playing strings like a marionette and would specifically look for Charlie. Bruh, bruh, the Athen family is real. That's what I'm saying, saying, chat. The Athen family is real, but the like the like the game part probably fake. Priority. He called this animatronic. The puppet. Frustration, agony, instability. These emotions are what the psychotic monster that was William after himself felt. 
Elizabeth first. Now Evan, his wife became unstable, but what about him? The night of Evan's death, William went All right, bro. Okay, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. He looked coldly at the animatronic. That it's real chat trolling. Son. William was filled with rage. And right, I got people saying it's real and it's not real. Bear. So I'm gonna go with the. So he grabbed whatever he could and right. began to. I got people saying it's real and it's not real. Ever so slightly, with each hit, the life was being drained out of the Springlock suit's Wait. eyes until it was a pile of animatronic dump in the same state as the work in progress animatronics. Destroyed or not, the damage Fredbear caused had already been done. The damage Michael caused. William blamed Michael for taking it too far, for causing Evan to cry inside the suit's mouth, causing Fredbear to kill him. Hatred filled William's veins. Hatred towards Michael that went so far that William... Okay, alright, chat. Yo, is it real or not real, bro? Like, bro, like, do I just gotta look it up? Wished it were him who got killed by Fredbear. After the longest weeks of William's life, he heard news of a new location run by Fazbear's Entertainment opening, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Upon learning the news, his adrenaline spiked. William thought he paid for what he did to those kids with the loss of two of his own. So maybe now he would have some luck. This was his chance at a comeback. A possible distraction from everything. An escape from the pain and a glimpse into the light. William drove to this new location, Henry waiting his arrival at the front door. William got out of his car and headed towards his new opportunity. Come on, you know you can't be here. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. William's excitement turned into shock. His stomach screaming thanks to what felt like a gunshot. Henry, oh my William. god, he played this man? That's fucked up, bro. He, and he's the one who created this shit. So he tried to go back. That's fucked up. Co-owners of this franchise. William says in confusion. Where? William mutters. Are you kidding me? After everything. You mean after everything you caused, which you're responsible for, including killing those Real? kids. Real search up finite to Freddy 34. Well, I got you, I got you. Mouth to deny. Don't even. We can all see the truth in between it's the real. lines. It's real. I know. I'm gonna look it up on YouTube. This. After all that's happened to me, I've suffered long enough. You're not the victim here, William. I started this shit from scratch with my bare fucking hands. I'm not risking you tearing all that hard work down and hurting more innocent people. William expresses. Yo, there's no fucking way. What's this? Why like, he's saying it like he's getting friend. And with a misleading grin on his face, William complies. He gets into his car and drives away slowly. Henry won the argument and stands with joy as he finally sees relief that he's gotten the final problem out of the way and can now begin to move forward. William raced dangerously down the streets, fueled with rage. He thought for the entire drive home, what to do next? Until suddenly he got that feeling he felt ages ago. That strange, unnerving urge to kill. And within seconds, William thought of the perfect target. Charlotte Emily was the daughter of Henry, and who William now wanted to get rid of. Oh! The words echoed in his head. Okay, you caused, which you're responsible for. But now his daughter would die because of him. Oh. Frustration, agony, instability, all what Henry deserved to feel in William's mind. But unlike Fred Bears, this would be extremely difficult to kill anyone, as there's an entire new security system in place against William specifically, and to make it harder, specifically to protect his daughter, the puppet would be out of its box, keeping Charlie safe before William even got close to the door. William thought overnight, planning what he would do and how to avoid this issue with the puppet, which is when a realization popped into his head. The puppet is dependent on the box being open, so what if the box was closed shut, essentially trapping the puppet inside? William played the situation out in his head over and over. If Charlie leaves the pizzeria while the puppet is trapped inside, then who would be there to see him? Fart to Freddy 34? Okay! No this is what it's called, Fart to Freddy 34? Oh, I see now. Oh, wait. Fuck, y'all can't see my screen. I don't see none, y'all. Where's my lotion at? Where's my lotion at? Oh my god. Yo, what the fuck? Bro, y'all tripping. Yo, y'all niggas tripping, bro.
Yo, bruh. Oh, my God. Yo, I just seen the most. Okay, let's go back. Yo, what the hell? Yo, y'all weird for telling me look that up, though. And the next day, what? Oh, my God. One night, a group of bullies trapped the security puppet in its box, and coincidentally, <laughs> Charlie was stuck outside Freddy's. Yo, why did Chica look so... Oh, my gosh. ...opportunity as Charlie tried to run away to find a way to escape. Chica looked so... ...the car pulled besides the alley, and a man got out of it. Charlie ran to William, as she knew who he was, after the many times Henry and William met with her there. Charlie grinned until William pulled Y'all weird. from Y'all behind weird. his back. William killed Charlie in the alleyway outside of Freddy's. Her body lay numb in the rain. He thought to dispose of the body and get rid of any evidence, but it was hailing down with the rain. The fingerprints would be cleared off, so he felt no need. So he walks away and gets into his car, driving off happier than ever. The revenge was bittersweet. Now Henry would finally pay for pushing William away and making his life even more of a hassle. The puppet knocked its box wide open and knew where Charlie had gone. Stand up! Its only mission being to protect her and bring her back inside. It went outside and tried to get to her, but kept breaking down due to the heavy rain. It found Charlie, and upon seeing its mission was a failure, it rest by her and wouldn't move. Hold away, damn, hold away, I'm only paying attention. Hold away, chat, hold away, chat, what's going on right now? What's going on right now? What's going on right now? Body laid numb in the rain. He thought to find a way to escape, until a car pulled besides the alley and a man got out of it. Charlie ran to William as she knew who he was after the many times Henry and William met with her there. Charlie grinned until William pulled something from behind his back. William killed Charlie in the alleyway outside of Freddy's. Her body Yo, I don't... I don't have a boner, bro. Get off my dick. Simple. Numb in the rain. He thought to dispose of the body and get rid of any evidence, but it was hailing down with the rain. The fingerprints would be cleared off, so he felt no need. So he walks away and gets into his car driving off happier than ever. The revenge was bittersweet. Now Henry would finally pay for pushing William away and making his life even more of a hassle. The puppet knocked its box wide open and knew where Charlie had gotten to. Its only mission being to protect her and bring her back inside. It went outside and tried to get to her, but kept breaking down due to the heavy rain. It found Charlie and upon seeing its mission was a failure, it- Wait chat, what did- Yo chat, what just happened y'all? He killed- Bro, he just killed Henry's daughter, but like- what is this grave part though? Rest by her and wouldn't move. Henry couldn't find her. Neither could the police. This is all too familiar. Another missing child. He just killed Henry his daughter. for the puppet, her protector, and found its box pushed wide open. He then went outside and found its body lying dead on the ground. It was damaged and there was something next to it, which Henry immediately knew who it was. Henry wasn't stupid. He knew it was William who did this. Nights after he was pushed away, Henry was enraged and began thinking whether the business should close or not. But no, he would be proving William right if he did that. So instead, Henry goes on a well-deserved break and lets his team continue working on the location in his absence. This was becoming interesting for William. How many more times could he kill and get away with it? He had his eyes set on Freddy's and decided to do a rerun of his biggest killing spree, causing another missing children's incident to occur. He knew all the old suits were being transferred into this new location, so he knew exactly how to enter without setting off the animatronics. The Spring Bonnie suit. He found it in the parts and services room and put it on, and one night William roamed the building in the suit killing another five kids. Well, he's killed another five. The puppet. Bro, why are you adding jump? <laughs> Yo, mother... now possessing the work in progress animatronic that they were originally stuffed in, their spirits being able to stay there as long as they did thanks to their corpses attaching to the endoskeleton. Evan himself, William's child, was given a second chance in Fredbear, which William had put his body into not long ago, trying to put him back together and make his body fuse with the animatronics. 
Now, with the help of the reanimate animatronics, the puppet gives the recently killed children a second chance. But this time, within the toy animatronics and Balloon Boy. Oh my god. So he traps the souls? Fortnite, find it to Freddy if he agitates? What you mean? Oh, that's the real footage? No way. Seriously? This was unheard of. Animatronics coming to life? Fusing dead children's souls into the suits? How did this even work? Many questions would be asked and they would most likely be experimented on and given to the government or something huge like that. But the thing is, no one even knew. The animatronics acted how they did originally, but now their goal is to find their killer and finish him off for good. Each night they would see if the night shift worker was willing- Oh, I get it now. So all the robots have a soul in it and their motive is to kill their kill their um kill kill their killers so it's like a lot of robots i mean yeah a lot of uh, animatronics it's like oh okay and would continuously travel to their office to see so the company dismissed this as abnormal and claimed to understand you're only the second guard to work at that location uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions uh, we switched him over uh, to day shift, so, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night. I get it, bro. I get it. To get into I get office. it. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So, when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. During all of this, the bullies that helped trip the puppet kept screwing with the animatronics in the pizzeria. This time it was Mangle. They ripped its original suit to pieces until it was a connected pile of scraps. Oh my the animatronic God. was dismantled daily by these kids, and the staff eventually stopped repairing it. The animatronics were getting angry, causing them to behave differently towards adults and staff members. But one day, Mingle became more unstable when it was once again dismantled and bit down on one of the kids and caused the loss of the frontal lobe of the victim. Told you, Chat, the frontal lobe is what I've seen. The blue part is the frontal lobe. The lower AG buoy part, that's the Rolafalo lobe. It's called a Rolafalo. That is the bottom part. This one between the blue and gray right there. That is called the C4 low. That is a C4 low. The one in the lower upper back, that is the blue snowball cheese and rice, bro, okay? And that makes the thing, you know, tend to a different way. That is, that's that's how you talk. That's the one that six, sends signals. There, There's nerve cells in your brain, and it sends signals. That's how, that's how we talk. In the back part of the brain, that is the, how you say it, how you say that word? Gala Blue Suit Animatronics Brain. That's the one that's your general. That's the one that connect. That's that's the one that holds it all. Brain. All of the toy animatronics was scrapped. Trying to help y'all out. Trying to help y'all out. Functions more specifically this bite from Mangle. In the same time, the second missing children you know? had yeah. also began to come into light, and eventually the building was put into lockdown for now to avoid any more casualties. From what I understand, the building is on lockdown. Uh, on this day they tracked Henry down and he went back to work but not for the good reasons Henry hoped he'd come back for. Fazbear Entertainment held a meeting with the entire team and they eventually decided to shut the location down and work on a smaller location with no security system animatronics. Just simple singing and dancing animatronics like Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. The animatronics would be made by Henry to avoid any incidents or bugs with the animatronics. And for weeks on end, Henry worked and repaired the work in progress suits and brought them to life. Freddy Fazbear would be the main driver of the restaurant with Bonnie the Bunny, Chick of the Chicken. I think I get the whole thing now, y'all. Tagging along. William's wife opened the door and was surprised to see him. William instantly raises the point that he hates Michael and he wants her to take him or else he'll throw him out to the streets. They argue. He doesn't want to be in his son's life. 
for a bad reason, being a bad dad, or a good reason, protecting oh. him is everything near William. So sister's location. Clear. After what felt like an hour, William decides he's done with the argument and storms off to sit in his car goalless. William's wife, now sick of hearing what he has to say, begins to shout and scream that he... Blood came from her stomach and she watches William stare as she falls to the ground, passing out. Never oh to awaken my again. gosh. He drags her body to the car and puts her inside of it. Slam me. Five Nights at Freddy V. Okay. R okay. R oh, okay. 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 All right. Okay. 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 Look at that. Freddy VTS tapes. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I gotcha. You said find out a Freddy VTA's tape. Which one, y'all? Which one? Which one? The first one? Which one? The top? The first one? Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Maintenance Video Manual. Yo, this is the real tape. Will cover the instructions on how to clean out your state of the art animatronic characters. Each animatronic has the same cleaning procedure. First, reach behind. Oh your my God! This will set them into maintenance mode. Second. Press the blue unlock button. This is the, on the real back of version. The head. Remove the upper jaw carefully, then detach the lower jaw. Third, press down on both shoulders to unlock the shoulder joints. Remove both arms. Finally, take the torso piece and lift it upward until it is complete. What the fuck? That TOS. Oh, I don't want TOS. That wasn't TOS. That wasn't TOS. I'm good. What the fuck, bro? What y'all telling me to watch? Bro, y'all tripping, bro? I give me some TOS ass shit, bro. What's up with y'all?